everybody, it's Alice K, and I'm just getting ready to work on journals a little bit today. This is kind of my mental health time, <laughs> and um, I just was checking to see if that's working. I'll probably get up every once in a while to check and make sure that the camera is still working because it's, I have not figured out how to make it go for more than 11 minutes at a time without stopping. Um, but anyway, I just, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm working on as far as journals, and I just thought it would be fun to invite you along, show you what I'm doing as if you were here visiting me, and, um, and maybe do some of it while you're watching, I don't know. But mainly, and I'm sorry about the traffic going by, I live on kind of a busy street, but mainly, um, just chatting and stuff. Anyway, it's going to sound like I'm whining at first, but there's a reason for it. So lately things have just been really, really hard. And um, I've been depressed. I'm, I mean, like really seriously depressed. And, you know, I'm having some health problems. Isn't that cute? I did that patchwork, but I did it on paper. And so it's just too lightweight. So I'm not sure what to do with it. I'll figure that out. Um, I'm having health issues because of my Lyme in a lot of pain. I'm exhausted because I'm working really stupid hours, which is, you know, it's my choice. Uh, my job doesn't require certain hours. Um, it's just like, you know, we need the money. So I'm working, I have been working two nights all night as well as my normal early morning schedules. And that's just been too much for me and I just haven't been able to do it. So I'm now getting up earlier so that I can, um, oh, I'm looking for something else that I was working on that's not here that I wanted to show you. Bummer, I don't know where it is. Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm now working earlier in the morning. I work six days a week. Oh, here it is. Uh, you know, and again, this is not required by the company. It's just, you know, what our needs are right now. But anyway, so, and Bill's having health issues too, and um, we're having financial issues because we had a number of setbacks in the last 10 months, one of which was just such a major shock um, because it was somebody who really, really hurt us and uh, financially and um, very unexpected. And so it was such a major shock that it, created what I think is probably PTSD for me and it's just been hard for me to be around people since then so I've really kept to myself and that's not the end of the world it's okay and stuff it's probably not you know healthy long term but it's what I've needed to do right now so anyway all this to say discovering junk journals like around the end of December and working on these has been amazing for my mental health it has helped me so much and then also, you know, I've gotten, oh, I've got this upside down. I've gotten to know a group on Facebook, um, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, I think is what it's called. Um, and it's not just junk journals, but it's people doing all kinds of crafting and stuff. And they're just like really supportive. I have not seen anything at all negative said on there to anybody, by anybody or anything. And so it's just been really wonderful. And just having this time to craft has been really good. And at first I was doing it because we needed some lower price point stuff at our store. So I wanted to have a bunch of things for that. But then we decided yesterday um, to close our store in Teleco Plains, which was really sad. But at the same time, it's what we needed to do for our own health and well-being in so many ways. <laughs> um, and so now I don't have to do it, but it's like... I want to still do this for a couple hours a day because it's just helped me so much and it's just been a creative outlet and it's just been really good anyway so here's one of the things that I'm working on is a folio this is all paper well this is fabric but the cover and everything is all paper it's paper sewn onto a file folder that's been cut up and I don't know if you can see the whole thing. I don't think you can but once. Choo, 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 choo. So I, I haven't gotten all that far on it. It's shabby chic, so it's got lots of, you know, threads all over. But see, isn't this fun? I love doing this. I love taking my scraps 
and sewing them onto something um, and they call that Franken paper because of the zigzag so that's really fun so I'm doing that and then I made this little file folder thingy here that I've put some um, note note paper into and that's really cute but then I was thinking today I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a blank junk journal not a big one but kind of a beginners level junk journal beginner level for the person who's journaling with you know the pages that are all different and everything but not put the pockets and everything on it and that'll go in one of these folders and then I'll make like a bunch of the pockets and tags and stuff so that somebody can put that journal together for themselves. Doesn't that sound like fun? I think that that would be really cool. There are, you know, kits for junk journals on Etsy and stuff, so it's not like I've come up with something completely new, but I was just making this folio after watching a tutorial about um, from Gail Augustinelli. Uh, someday I'll learn to say her name right. Um, and she was making a folio kind of like this. And I didn't really want to fill it with the same kinds of things she was filling it with, because um, that just didn't interest me. And I was trying to think of what to fill it with and then I thought oh wouldn't that be so much fun so anyway if if you like this and you have ideas of what you'd like in it let me know because I'm still in the process of making it and then another thing that I'm working on is this journal that I haven't even begun to put together yet it'll have um, another paper inside and it'll be sewn to a file folder I've just found that sewing them to file folders makes for a really really nice um, it's like kind of a combination of soft and hard bound. So these are some of the papers. I've got a note card in here. This is just what I'm starting out with. You know, I'm going to be doing stuff with it. So there will be like lots of pockets and cool stuff. Isn't that a nice coloring page? And just lots of really fun things. I love putting a doily in them. Whoever came up with that idea is brilliant. Okay, so that's one of the things I'm working on. So I kind of do two different kinds of journals. Um, and these aren't like official names or anything. This is just how I think of it. But I do what I think of as kind of clean journals, like this one, that have more of the clean colors and, you know, cut pages. I'll probably put lace on them and stuff. But, you know, it's just more clean lined and everything. And then I do what I think of as grungy journals that have, um, I have stuff that I'm going to put in it, that have torn pages and just a bunch of stuff on it and tend to be more weathered looking and you know I make them so that they look like somebody's been using this for a really long time kind of thing um, and they're also kind of shabby chic pretty much everything I do is shabby chic because I love shabby chic but this is one that I've been working on that I'm almost done with I'm almost done putting in I think I am done putting in all the pockets and stuff I just need to fill it Put all the stuff in the pockets. I think I started right there and stuff, but I didn't get very far yet because I started on another one. I tend to be a little, whoa, squirrel, you know? <laughs> and um, so anyway, but this one's really fun. This is East Tennessee and basically Monroe County, really. Um, and see, my husband is the centerfold. Isn't that sexy? And here's stuff from yarns and stuff from a little bit of bits and pieces of knitting that he threw away. I actually went through his trash. There was nothing wet in there. You know, it was just yarn and stuff. So I went through his trash and took stuff. And just, you know, stuff like that. So I'm working on that. But this is what I think of as being grungy. And then this, or like if you look on my YouTube channel, you'll see a French industrial themed one. I think of those as being clean. If that makes sense to anybody. Those are not official or technical terms they're just how I think which I know I think kind of weird but anyway isn't this gorgeous paper I thought this was so pretty and it's by color Bach right there see and so what I do is I go through um, oh yeah and I've got these fabrics that I just already had on hand I never opened these two um, and they I think they go really nicely with it. Orange, ever since I joined VIP Kid, has kind of been a color that I like, where I never liked it before. And um, anyway, the papers in here are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think I've actually taken the best ones out already. <laughs> I'm using them. So I'll do something with these. Um, but there's like 
florals and stuff. You saw me flipping through that, the one that I'm making, the journal that I'm making. It has a lot of really pretty florals and other things in it. Um, and I like those. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And I didn't really have anything like super awesome to talk about or anything, but just thought that I would kind of show you what I'm working on and tell you where I am in life and <laughs> be a little social, even though I'm like really kind of a hermit these days. This is my old stationery from John Chapman Christian Academy, my school in Los Banos, California. And I ran across this, and so this is junk now because that school doesn't exist anymore, and so I can use it in junk journals. And I've collected a whole bunch of junk mail and stuff. Bill cannot throw anything out without checking with me now. And so, you know, different things get used that way. So that's that. Sorry, you guys, I don't have anything really exciting. Um, oh, one thing I will tell you is this is another thing that I'm working on is I'm going to teach this summer about Abraham on my YouTube channel. And it's really gonna be more like a class. You can just watch it if you want to, but if you wanna take a class, this will be a class. And usually the way that I teach my classes is in um, three different levels. So if you're like new to the Bible, or you just don't wanna do a whole lot, then you can do the beginner stuff. And if you're um, really, you know, you wanna make it a lot harder you can do the higher levels but one of the things that's completely completely optional but if you want to do it is in May I'm going to walk people through making a junk journal and this is my junk journal you don't have to make yours the same but if you want me to put the pieces the printed pieces that I use into um, a file that you could download um, let me know because because I could do that um, cause I'm going to do all, I'm going to do the whole junk journal and record all the sessions before we start. Hopefully that's my plan. These are coffee stained pages that I did. Um, and so if you have been thinking it would be cool to make a junk journal, but you're kind of scared to start or you don't know how to start, I'm going to be showing you how. So get ready for that in May, or you can watch it later cause I'll just leave it up there. Um, but this is my junk journal. And yours doesn't have to look the same as it. It doesn't have to be as complicated. In fact, you can just buy a spiral notebook and use that without doing anything to it. Or you can get a spiral notebook and glue stuff on like I've done on my, I've stitched this on actually, on my, um, on my junk journal and just create a junk journal along with this. And it's just going to be really fun. So that's for those of you who are who want to study the Bible and are also creative. Those of you who aren't creative or don't have time or just plain old aren't interested in junk journals, um, you don't have to do that. You can just do the course with us or make it into just a miniature Bible study or devotional time. Anyway, it'll be very, very flexible. All right, well, that's it. I can't think of anything really exciting to say. Sorry. <laughs> um, thank you for just letting me muse and feel like I'm being a little social. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting a little better. All right. I will talk to y'all later. I love you. Bye-bye.